So in conjunction with the uh, week three uh, tips and overview that I just sent, um, I thought that it probably is a good time and maybe overdue, but uh, to uh, give you kind of a visual introduction uh, to uh, the various places that um, you want to look for stuff every week. Um, I'm trying to streamline it as much as possible so you don't have to dick, dip, dip, blah, 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 so that you don't have to dip around in, very, in, in a bunch of different directions to find what you need. But um, when you just when you get to the course, you're going to land here um, and this, this is the home the course home tab and you can tell that's darkened so that's where you are. And you've, you've, of course, gone through the student orientation, uh, which if you haven't, you'll need to, and I can back out and show you that. Um, every time there is some inf important information that you need to have, I will, uh, I will add it to an announcement, you know, if it's, if it's a time-sensitive thing. For example, um, I discovered that I hadn't set up the editing uh, option in discussion area, so I, I posted that. Um, and uh, then once the feedback was available for quiz one, I posted that, and then guess what? I discovered that it wasn't really available because I hadn't clicked the right button, and I thought that it was available, and then guess what? It still wasn't, so now it is. Um, someone said that there's a, the, the archivist said there's, there's a position available, and then here, um, in many cases, when I send an email, a general email to the class, um, it will appear here in uh, this top, or I will also uh, replicate it here so that you can grab it here. Uh, the email address that I'm sending your information to is um, necessarily the one that is tied to my Leo, um, just because it's really the only way I can keep up with, uh, with this. So if you do not have uh, access to, to your um, uh, campus email account or if you'd rather have another one tied to it I'm pretty sure you can make that change and if you can't figure out how connect contact technology support and in fact uh, technology support is uh, is useful um, for um, all sorts of things if you're just not getting this to work the way that you want check that but also contact me um, because um, uh, I mean if it's technology I'm going to need to have uh, them do that for you, but if it's something that I've created um, and then uh, you're unable to hear or um, or uh, access, then um, we should probably talk about that as well. Um, my office hours, um, as you probably already know, are um, on Tuesdays by telephone and on Thursdays at my office, um, which is in Commerce at the Hall of Languages, room 209. Um, I also uh, really, this is my cell phone, and, um, and I welcome you guys to use it. Um, I just, you know, ask that you call it reasonable hours. Um, but, um, but anyway, I'm, I am accessible, and I really do, because of the online component of it, because of the hands-on nature of doing uh, some of the writings that, are going, that involve technology, um, sometimes it's, you just need to touch base, and that, that is absolutely fine. Um, if you can't meet me during my office hours, I, I really do welcome appointments, and uh, I will also I also um, uh, welcome uh, the opportunity to visit you via live chat. There's a there's a chat option here that um, which is really nice because if we have a conversation in chat, and if you have a conversation in your um, yeah, in your uh, I'll put this here. It, it's actually, um, if you have a conversation with your colleagues, it's actually um, uh, archived and recorded, logged here, so you have access to it later. Might be worth something to explore. This is just what it looks like. Um, um, show you. Hello there. See? Okay, so anyway, you see the chat. Think about it. It might be fun. Um, I'm going to continue a quick overview in the next slide. 